So what's your perspective on Innovation Day so far as it is now, from what you've seen? Well, it's um, definitely been exciting so far. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell everybody's really passionate about what they do, and uh, there's definitely an energy in the school. I oh, think you yes. can tell that there's <laughs> uh, a lot of excitement around it. And just driving up last night in the snowstorm, uh, I mean, uh, I had to innovate, you know, even on the small scale when I was driving up, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not used to driving through intense snow like that. But uh, no, I'm just re really happy to be here. And uh, innovation is really important in storm chasing and uh, meteorology and not only the sciences, but in all in every single career. And, uh, even when you least expect it, you need to innovate sometimes. So uh -huh. uh, yeah, just glad to be a part of it. So I know you said that since you were really little, you've been passionate about storms and severe weather. What would you, would that be one of the things to be working on if you were doing an Innovation Day project? Yeah, I think it definitely would have. And when I was growing up, you know, and I did all kinds of science fair stuff, I mean, a lot of them were on weather and also collected insects too, so I probably did something with <laughs> yeah. like that. But yeah, it, did, it definitely would have been some kind of maybe designing a remote control to maybe or set vehicle mm -hmm. or something like yeah. that. I thought I read somewhere that your first like storm on camera thing was with your family's camera and it got busted up by hail. Yeah, I was 13 <laughs> years old and uh, a severe storm came up so I grabbed the family video camera and they were really big ones back then that took the mm -hmm. big VHS tapes. Oh yeah. And stood in the front yard and got pelted by hail and the whole video camera was destroyed. Yeah. So the storm chased me in that situation. <laughs> yeah. All right.